Well, hey, y'all. Welcome back to From the Holler. Y'all, it is a dreary, rainy, yucky day out here, but <laughs> animals are almost out of food, so we had to come out, and I'm going to make it a worthwhile trip, do it all in one day, and today we are at my favorite nursery of all time, okay? It's called Williams Nursery. It's in Harriman, Tennessee, and y'all, we're going to go in here and see what they've got. There are a few plants that I'm looking for, for the garden. Uh, stuff that I tried to start myself, but the seeds didn't germinate, or if they did, they just, mm, yeah. Uh, one of those is tomatillos. So we're gonna go in here and see. I had trouble with those, and I had trouble with sweet peppers, which perhaps wants plenty of pickled peppers. So, and he wants them to be sweet, so I've got to try to find some plants for that. And they've got some beautiful rose bushes that I'm sitting here looking at. I know I don't need any more rose bushes, but y'all, the last one I bought here is beautiful, growing in my yard against the fence line, all the things. So, we're going to run through, and I'm going to show y'all what they've got. Oh, and, oh, and, I love pickled okra, just so you know. He does. So, let's go see what they've got, y'all. That was fun, but I want to come back on a prettier day when I can go through all the greenhouses. Y'all, they have a ton of them here, okay? <laughs> I want to go through all the greenhouses and walk around and look, and there's some things they still don't have ready yet, so I want to come back and check them out in a couple of weeks and see what they've got then. They don't have any basil or oregano or anything like that yet. So, on to the Dollar Tree, because we're out, almost out of Dollar Tree milk. So let's go grab some of it, and perhaps some cinnamon candy, and then we're off to Tractor Supply. <music> Alright, 
we just finished up in tractor supply. It's a little busy, so I didn't record in there. Now, I've got a couple of things that I need to return to Walmart. And pick up a few things there. I'm gonna use the money that I get back from returning those things. Okie dokie. Anyway, I'm going to use the money that I get back from the return to pick up a few little extra things that I'm needing, but I don't really need a whole lot. Uh, one thing I do want to grab is some sandwich meat for this weekend when the kids come back. I'm going to get some sandwich meat and cheese so that we can have that for a quick lunch while we're working out on the homestead out in the yard doing the cleanup <sighs> y'all this weather hmm, I don't like it but this weekend we're gonna be up to 86 degrees already okay <laughs> So, if I can just hold out, right now it's 58 degrees out here, it's drizzling rain, well it's a little more than a drizzle, but it's raining, Ugh, it's cold, I don't like neither one, so, and I just realized that my tags are expired on my car. They expired the last day of March, which was Easter Sunday. So, yeah. <laughs> we have got to run through Walmart really quick so I can make it to the courthouse to get my tags. I can't renew them online because they've changed the design of my tags and they're no longer available, so I've got to pick up a whole new plate. So, yay me. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm driving around on expired tags. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, anyway, we're turning into Walmart now. So, let's get in here and get this done. Shall we? I don't want my plants to... Uh, be harmed driving around. I've got them over here in the passenger seat next to me. Alright y'all, let's go into Walmart and see what we can find. made it back back home safe and sound and it's actually stopped raining for the moment so I was able to get everything in and I thought we would start with my haul from the nursery y'all I'm, I'm excited about it they didn't have any tomatillo plants and they won't have any so I'm a little sad on that but that's okay so let's start over here I got Two four packs of the sweet banana peppers. Mine, again, mine did not do well, so I grabbed two four packs of those, so we'll have eight plants. I got a four pack of poblanos. I've never grown those, but I've always wanted to, so I did grab some of those. And then I grabbed a couple of four packs of the tomatoes. This one is the Goliath tomatoes. Paps wanted those. And then, of course, I wanted the Lemon Boy because I love those. Love, love, love those. Um, so, Aiden picked out an Angel Trumpet. And I picked out, he picked this one out, the pink and white. And then I picked out the white one. I have been looking for the Bleeding Hearts forever. 
I love these. My grandmother had a pink one in her yard and I fell in love with it. That was one of my favorite bushes that she grew on her property on the farm. And so I got two of those and this one is actually blooming. Look at that. I love them. And then I got one pack of dill. So that's what I got at the nursery. And all this was $22. So I don't think I did too bad. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the peppers out with my peppers. The tomatoes, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I might should have waited on those, but I didn't. So, you know, uh, the dill can go ahead and go out. And then the flowers we will get set out this weekend. So there is my haul from the nursery. Alright, as most of y'all know, this is my go-to milk. This is all we use. I do not buy regular milk or anything from any of the grocery stores. I go to Dollar Tree and I stock up. So I got 10 cartons of milk. And the best by date, it's whole, milk. it's whole milk, yes. The best by date is February 5th of 2025. See why I use it? Just saying. So, I got those. So, that's what I got at Dollar Tree. Here is my whole Walmart haul, minus <laughs> those two. Let's just move those out of the way so that there is no confusion <laughs> so here's my full Walmart haul now I did take a couple of things back to Walmart so I got two different gift cards don't know why they had to put them on two but they did so instead of breaking this up into three different hauls I'm just going to do one big one and then I'll break it down when we go sit down and have a chat but I want to show you these little shirts so this is the front okay got a little peep on it and then the back says well if i can get it to back says where my peeps at <laughs> i just thought it was cute and y'all the price was 69 cents so i got aiden and my one of my other grandsons that's a year younger than Aiden. I got him, both of them one of those because I think they're cute. So they, they're going to wear them at least once, okay? I got Pap some more cinnamon discs. He likes to have these in his office at work. So he was out. So I grabbed him two more packs of those. We just made our last bag of popcorn last night so I grabbed another box of that the drink mix is for Pap to take to work he likes to have one of those there to mix in with his water the crackers are also for him to take to work with him that's one of his snacks and then for this weekend I got a pound and a half of the old farmers ham y'all that's the best ham I got a pound and a half of that so that we've got plenty to feed everybody while they're here. Just a quick little lunch. I'll make homemade bread and we'll throw some chips with that. It'll be delicious. I got two things of the brown sugar and cinnamon. Um, mm -hmm, yeah, cream cheese spread. I'll spit it out in a minute. I got two of those because I am wanting to make some homemade bagels i'll make one batch for paps to take to work with him so he'll need one of these and then one for aiden and i to eat on here at the house so we'll need one here so that's what that's for i went ahead and got another big pack of 72 slices of deluxe american cheese y'all that worked out perfect the last time i did it it lasted us a little over two months so I will be doing that again and again, I guess. Plus, we're going to go through some cheese this weekend while the kids are here helping us. So, I went ahead and just got the big pack. Um, 
I am trying my best to change up some eating habits. Uh, did not get good results on my some of my blood work the other day. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this, okay? Uh, I love yogurt. I do. Um, I don't know if I'm a big fan of Greek yogurt. Never really tried it, so we're gonna try it this time. But I got Yo Play Light. Of course, I had to get the Boston Cream Pie. I got two of those. I got a Light and Fit Zero Sugar Peach. I got a Light and Fit Greek Boston Cream. I got a Light and Fit Greek Creme Brulee. All these flavors just sounded good to me. I got a Zero Sugar Peach. And... I think that's, yeah, that's a Greek tiramisu. I'm kind of, kind of excited to try them, okay? Aiden wanted some Danimal smoothies, so I got him a pack of these in the banana and strawberry flavors. Green beans, I will be using for a sheet pan dinner that we're going to be doing here within the next day or so. So I needed those. And then I got Aiden and Paps some um, Great Value brand chili cheese corn chips. They love the Fritos, but I do not love the price. And y'all, these are $1.97. So, and then for the weekend, I got a bag of barbecue chips, the party size. And these, I these, out the ones behind. Uh huh. The barbecue. You size. did. Uh, these are on rollback for $2.86, I think. So not a bad price compared to, you know, the Lay's, which are $6 a bag. I'll do it, and I actually like these chips. And then, of course, Aiden picked out the Wavy Original chips, so there's his. And then for non-food items, they had this on clearance. So I paid $1.75 and got me... Is that a spatula? It is. It's a silicone spatula because I do love those. And then we were out of test strips for our glucose monitor. So I went ahead and picked up a pack of those. And that is it. That is our Walmart haul right there. All right, y'all. I've got my receipts. I think I've got everything figured out. I don't know for sure, but I think I do. So it's been a busy day, okay? When I say I, I am intentional about my trips out, I mean it. We hit the nursery, we hit Dollar Tree, we hit Tractor Supply, we hit Walmart and the courthouse. Y'all, I, I did not even realize that my tags had expired until I was loading the car up at Tractor Supply, I think it was. Maybe it was Dollar Tree. One of the two. And I just happened to look down at my tags. And I'm like, oh great. <laughs> That's all I need, you know. So yeah, uh, I had intentions on running by Kroger. But I just ran out of time. I did. I ran, ran completely out of time. And it's rainy and bad. And yeah, I was done. I was done. So anyway, I took back... A couple of things at Walmart. I know I've already said that. I'm going to say it again. Um, so one was $40 and change. And the other one was $20 and change. <clears throat> so I tried to keep things separated to make things easier on myself. So that I could keep up with all of this. Okay. So the one that was $20 and change. Um, I spent. I'm trying to find it. I spent $15 and uh, 32 cents of that $20 and change. And then the one that was 40 and change, I spent $36 and 23 cents, y'all. Now this is tax included, okay? And this is non-food items included in all this too. And then I spent for my grocery haul for the week, I spent, let me look, $24.36. So, stadium budget. And 
with what I saved or with what I did not spend on these other two, that covered my milk. So I had already spent that money out, okay, last month um, on a couple of things that I thought we needed and apparently we did not. So, you know, why not go ahead and get it? So, I, I came in under budget with all that, and I'm okay with that. I kind of like having to figure all this out. It's like a, again, like a game, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, totally, totally happy with that. So, I'm good. I am happy with that. We stayed under budget. I am back on track now. And I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I didn't show y'all the tractor supply haul because honestly, it's cat food, it's dog food, and there was something else that I got. Oh, shampoo to bathe the dogs because it's grooming time. So I did get a thing of shampoo at Tractor Supply to, to bathe them, and that was what I got at Tractor Supply. That stuff's still out in the car. I am not carrying in 100 pounds of cat food and dog food. I'm just not. So, Paps, Paps knows that that is his chore to do whenever I go to Tractor Supply for that. So, and I showed you guys the plants that we got at Williams. Oh, yay. I can't wait. Can't wait. This weekend, I am, I'm planting. I, I'm planting. I'm putting my peppers out. I'm going to hold off on my tomatoes, but I'm putting them peppers out this weekend. So, y'all, y'all just be watching for a gardening video coming soon, okay? It's coming, and I do want to keep you guys updated on how we're doing with the cleanup and all that. Yeah, we, we're doing a massive cleanup, so I will keep you guys updated with that too and show you what we're doing, what my thoughts are on it, and how I'm feeling about it. So, anyway... Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. If you like this video, give us a big old thumbs up as that helps our channel continue to grow. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do grocery hauls every Saturday. Every Saturday. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I drop a new video and if you're only here for the grocery hauls again that's on Saturdays 3 p.m. I do try to put out new cooking videos or gardening videos or canning videos or whatever every single day seven days a week and unless it's a special collaboration with another channel then they might always go up at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, much love to each and every one of y'all, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.